Now, there are many use cases on why you may want to host a website that's static, but you want to build it inside WordPress. That's exactly what we're going to look at today. Let me show you the site that we're working with, and I'll show you how we set everything up and how we actually host this for zero cost after we've developed it locally in WordPress, converted it to a static site, and we're off to the races. Let's take a look. So the site we're taking a look at is a site that I developed in WordPress. It's fundamentally a landing page for a course. As you can see, we've got some Enroll Me Now buttons, which will take us over to a payment section, which is external to the website. Student Login will take you over to the login page, again, external to this site. We've got an embedded video, got some content. We've got various different elements on this page. But we want to convert this to a static site because I don't want to pay for hosting. I don't want to have to deal with updating WordPress and so on. This is created. It's doing everything I need you to do. Now, on the landing page that we're going to use the demonstration in this particular video is already built. If I was going to start from scratch and I didn't want to develop it online, I would simply use local, which is a local development environment. It's completely free and you can get up and running super quickly. If you want to check out this video here and link in the description below, it'll show you how to set this up and how to get up and running using it. It's very simple and can be really useful. For the hosting, we're going to be using Cloudflare, which allows us to host up to a certain limit for absolutely free. And we're not restricted to a single site. We have multiple sites here. So if you are starting out in business and you want to build a website in WordPress, host it for free, and the only thing you're going to have to pay for is the domain unless you already own it, this is a really solid way of doing it. So Cloudflare is what we're going to use. To convert our WordPress website into a static site, we're going to be using Simply Static. Now, there are some limitations to what we can do with the free version of this, but that's all we're going to concentrate on in this video. If you need more, maybe a different solution or maybe the premium version of Simply Static is something you're going to need. For our use case with a landing page, we don't need it. The free version is perfect. Okay, so my local website version, which is on local WP, this is the dashboard. You can see I've got Elementor, Elementor Pro, and some other things installed here, including Simply Static. So what we're going to do is we're going to come into that, and we're going to come down to Generate. Now, inside here, we've got some options we can configure and tweak and do various different things. And then our activity log, which will show us what is actually done. If we jump into Diagnostics, first of all, this will run through and make sure that everything is set up and work in the way you need to. So for example, if you have things like cash in plugins installed on a site, disable those to make sure they don't cause a problem. As you can see, we've got green ticks on everything here. So we are looking good. Then if we come into things like your settings, you've got various options here how you can configure things. The reality is you can simply leave everything as it is if you want to and then hit the ground running. If you want to dig in further, you absolutely can do. So for our example, we don't need things like posts floating elements, admin pages, or anything like that, because the way the site is built, it's just basically using WordPress pages. You can also get rid of these activity crawlers if you don't want to use them. So things like author URLs, well, we don't have authors because we're not dealing with posts. It's irrelevant. You can go through and you can customize what you do and don't want included here. Then you have things like deploy. So how do you want to deploy it? We're going to use the zip option, but you can see there are additional options. And if you want to use things like GitHub, Bunny CDN, and so on, you absolutely can do by using the options here. We leave it to zip in this example. That's fine. Forms is where one of the limitations comes in in the free plan. And basically, one of the limitations you're going to get whenever you want to take a website built in WordPress and host it as a static website. There's always going to be limitations on how this works. So if you want to take a look into Forms, you're going to have to check out the pro or premium version. We're not going to worry about search because well, we're not searching anything on here, and we're not going to worry about optimizing anything. It's a very simple setup. So we leave everything else as it is. We're going to come up. Our option is going to be export. We'll come back into our activity log and click generate. That is now we're going to take a look at the site, grab all the files, restructure it into a static format, create the folders and all those kinds of things that we need behind the scenes. Then it's going to give us a log file if we want to check it out. Once that's done, we can download that zip file and then we can start working inside Cloudflare. And there you go. After 20 seconds, you can see that has done everything we need. We can click to download our file. That's our zip file downloading. So next, we're going to jump into Cloudflare. Now, I've already got a Cloudflare account set up. If you don't have one, simply go and sign up, confirm your account, and you're basically all ready to go. So once you're into the dashboard, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the account home section. I'm going to come to compute and AI, open this up. We're going to choose the option for workers and pages. This will then allow us to create a new 
site. So what we're going to do is create an application. We're going to say we want this to be pages, and we're going to say drag and drop your files. If you were using a Git repository, you could use the option above, but we want to keep this super simple. Get started here. First thing I'm going to do is give this a name. They call it design systems. Make sure you use a dash and you don't use any capital letters or spaces. Otherwise, you're going to have to change it like I've done. Then we're going to say create the project. And then we can upload our file or zip file or a folder, whatever we've got it set up as. So select this from our computer, choose upload zip, grab the file and let that go. We'll let that run through now. And you can see there's our simply static where we just downloaded. Expand this, you can see the basic structure that we've got here. After a few moments, depending upon how big your site is, you can see now everything has been uploaded. We can click on Deploy Site, and our site has successfully been created. We currently have a temporary domain, so let's just check the site out to make sure everything is working. So we'll click Continue the Project. We'll visit our site. And as you can see, we now have an identical copy. If we press Play on the video, you can see the video plays perfectly fine. Everything then underneath, including the little slider is all working so everything is set up working perfectly exactly as we expect it to so that's the basics of it all set up but we still have some more options available i'm not going to dig into how you set up the custom domains because it's basically just changing some simple dns settings if you'd like me to create a video showing you how you can actually set up your domains on cloudflare especially if you want to see how you can set the custom domains here let me know in the comment section down below and i will show you but if you come into the metrics, for example, you can see this will give us an overview now of the traffic and all those kinds of things that we get from our new website. Come into custom domain. What you can do is you can say simply set up a custom domain, type in the domain that you want, and follow the instructions that are on the screen. It is very simple and straightforward. But like I say, if you want to show you how to do it, let me know down below. And then finally, you've got your settings section. So if you want to, you can configure various different options here. But the reality is you don't need to make any changes here. If you're comfortable inside here and you want to customize things, absolutely get stuck in and do it. But you don't need to. You can leave it as it is. If for any reason you've set everything up and you think, that's okay, I don't want to use it as a real site, you can simply come down to the delete, confirm it, and then you'll delete what you've got set up. But what we basically have now is our website built in WordPress, transitioned over into a static site using Simply Static for free. We've then uploaded it into Cloudflare. We've set it up on here to be, again, completely free. And if you want to add a custom domain in, you absolutely can do. There's so many different use cases for this. So instead of having hosting all over the place with these little landing sites, landing pages, Pages, sales pages and things like that that don't require a lot of actual WordPress functionality. Build them in WordPress, export them as a static site and have something clean and simple that's fast, easy and doesn't require you to update plugins and so on. But the beauty of this is because we've actually set it up this way, we can still work and make changes inside local by WP. So we still have the benefit of being able to customize WordPress and then we can simply push those files up here and replace what's already there with the updated version. It's a little bit of work, but it's very simple to do. But hopefully you found this video useful. If you want any more information on anything I've covered in this video, either check the links out down below if I've covered it already. If not, let me have a comment down below. I will take a look at creating more videos on this kind of topic if enough people are interested. As always, all applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.